FW. All right. Well, our next guest has become a great friend of the show. Uh, in fact, every time he comes and he shares some jokes with us. And being that he started off as a drummer of the Fastbacks back in the day, I thought it would be great to give him a drummer joke. So, Duff. Oh, yes. How many drummers does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. Well, it takes one to screw the bulb in and four to talk about how much better Neil Perk could have done it. <laughs> yeah. 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 How about that? Please yes. welcome to the show, Duff yes. McKagan. There you go. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. I don't know. You're a drummer. Are you uh, a Neil yeah. Peart fan? I'm not a fan of Peart. Uh, and I've always pissed off drummers. The professor on the drum cage. Yeah. Um, he, he's a killer drummer. <laughs> I, it's right. not my Not my, my style. Thing. I was more of like a Paul Cook, you know, pistols, that, that real straight, mm -hmm. powerful drumming style. Yeah. Uh, It'd be fun. I'm not just saying it because you're in the room, but for me, to always the, the, the number one drummer for me that was, that was a huge influence was Steven Adler from uh, Guns N' Roses great, days. And I group. always loved Less Is More. Yeah. And uh, have you been talking to him much? Because he was all over that celebrity rehab thing. Yeah. Uh, not no, not a ton. Um, but I, you know, we're friends. But uh, yeah. it's it's. Uh, Boy, did he have. It, a, I mean, he had a hard time on that show, man. I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't watch it. Yeah, I watched yeah. the finale of that show, and it didn't. I mean, man, it. it you, you really wondered, is he going to make it? Yeah, yeah, it was tough. I saw. Uh, we TV'd the show, um, you know, whenever a few months ago, and and I it's, people were calling me, hey, you got to watch this one episode, the one where he was high, and oh, that was and I watched watch. about three minutes of it, and it remind, I got this feeling in my stomach. Uh, it, it, that you know, I just felt like I, w I wanted to throw up, and and seeing him like that reminded me of 1989 and 90, and uh, it was a tough time. And and he, you know, obviously you can see he's kind of stayed in that that area, and I I've, I've moved. Now, just in wide case, away, wide away, away from. Just that. in case people don't know, because a lot of folks tune in and watch that show, and sometimes don't know who some of these people were and what your relationship. But Stephen Adler, of course, formerly with Guns N' Roses, Duff McKagan, also formerly with Guns N' Roses, and Duff uh, also, and you've said on the show, a recovering uh, substance abuser yourself. So here you are, you've you've gone down the sober house road on your own. You've done your own thing to be able to get the kind of life you want to have. And boy, you've 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 still had dealings with people like Scott Weiland, like and yeah. you see Stephen Adler, where mm -hmm. they've traveled your path but haven't been able to successfully go the distance in that path. Well, it's chronic and progressive disease, and and people that that don't know about it and go, oh, just quit. You know, it's it's n not unlike um, untreated diabetes or untreated you know uh, bipolar disorder. Um, it's it's chronic, meaning. It's going to always be there. Progressive meaning it it gets worse over time, and it'll it'll kill you untreated. So it is a disease, and yeah, I have to pay attention to it every day. You know, wake up in the morning and go, okay, um, this is a thing you have. Don't forget that you have it because like resetting every day, huh? I do. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a slip a few years back um, on some uh, uh, medication for I have I've uh, um, claustrophobia. Like I have to fly all the time. So, and I was dealing with that through through martial arts and really dealing with it, but things were going really fast in about 2005, and I slipped up on some some Xanax that was prescribed to me. But uh, yeah, that's tough. You know, wow. I so I I'll, I took one for stress one day, and that was the mistake I made. And after about a week, I was up to twenty two milligrams of that. Whoa! And so a I'd, day, I check. Yeah, I check myself. Whoa! Yeah, so that's what I do. You know. Whoa! You know, one's one's too many, thousands not enough type of deal. So, huh. um, anyhow, you know, I have to really pay attention to my my thing. You know, hey, but you know, we started off really serious. I got I got some jokes. That's right. good. Yes. Oh, damn. Don't it. forget, by the way, loaded. <laughs> Duff, Duff's band as well. We got a couple of uh, we got a couple of tunes uh, from the uh, the new album Sick, which is going to be in stores next Tuesday. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Duff and Load are going to be at Crocodile Cafe uh, tom uh, a week from tomorrow, April 9th. Uh, it's a twenty one and over show. Tickets are on sale now through Ticket uh, Ticketmaster. 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 <laughs> that's, 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 that's the follow up to your next album. That'd be kind of yeah. wait. There's a little yeah. Something they should there. rename it Ticketmaster yeah. on the yeah. you know for the day of the album. Why not? For the, yeah, buying our tickets for our shows at Ticketmaster. So uh, yeah, so Sick is in stores a uh, next Tuesday, April seventh, and then two days later you'll be at the Crocodile Cafe. And so get the tickets through Ticketmaster. Get the album anywhere you can get albums, of course. Uh, and uh, so I wanted to get that. Out out there, but you, you got you got a joke. Yes, let's do this. I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so do you you know what you do if you see your wife out in the backyard staggering around? <laughs> you know this one, don't you? <laughs> you know this one. No, I, I, I don't. What? How does it work? Huh? Yeah, you reload. 
<laughs> Damn it! I thought I hear it in the jugular. Huh? What? Wow. That's bad, Doug. Hey, That's hey. bad. <laughs> that, wait. BJ, why are you telling those jokes? I don't like know. That? This is horrible. I need to go back. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.